little bit of a different video today. Today, I'm going to be explaining why I think AEG washing machines are one of the best overall picks if you're looking for a washing machine in 2021. So first of all, I just want to say this here is based on my experience. This is based on, you know, this is not a washing machine channel, right? This is a, a general tech channel and I usually do reviews on speakers, TVs and stuff like that. But this is just based on my experience. This is based on the specifications that I've come across um, online and the in-person experience that I've had over the years um, when buying washing machines. So yeah, first of all, I'm just gonna let you know the washing machine that I've got. It's an AEG Pro Steam uh, version. It's a 9000 series model, nine kilogram load, A++++ energy rating, 1600 RPM spin, ProSense technology, so it basically automatically weighs the load, which is not really specific to AEG, it's quite common these days. And it also has an AEG permanent magnet energy efficient motor, inverter motor. Okay, so this is my specific machine. And I've identified a good few things about this brand and the machines they've made. I've had a couple in the past as well and uh, basically want to go through these with you now. So the first benefit about AEG washing machines is that they generally come with a five year warranty. I think the standard warranty on the AEG machines is two years, but it's very often you're going to find them come with five year warranties. So mine came with one, it had a sticker at the front. Uh, you just enter your details online and then you get a five year warranty. What you've got to do is put the information about your machine, where you bought it from and all that stuff, and then it, it's applicable straight away. The second thing, which is specific, I think, to AEG, and I'm not, like I said, I've not seen it in on other washing machines in other stores, is the soft water technology. So what that is, is basically in the drawer, there is a dedicated salt uh, drawer. And just like dishwasher salt, you fill that up with uh, the same salt that you put in a dishwasher. And the idea behind that is that it softens the water. Now, what's the point of having soft water inside your washing machine? Well, first of all, hard water is not good for your clothes. And the reason for that is, first of all, it's uh, there's, there's more impurities in it. And the other thing is hard water requires more detergent to mix properly. So inside your drum, you've got more impurities, you've got more detergent, which you have to add to, and that over time damages your clothes. So soft water, it means you're gonna use less detergent, which means your clothes should last longer and the colors should last longer. And AEG have this thing where they say your black clothes will stay black. And the other thing that's good about it, you're using less detergent. It means you're gonna be saving money on detergent and it's quite a considerable amount of detergent that you're going to be using less. The third thing I really like about the AEG washing machines is the Ocomix system. So Ocomix is a system where basically what the washing machine does, it gets the detergent, it puts it into us, it sucks it up and puts it into a special drawer where it mixes the detergent with water. And basically what it's doing is pre-mixing that detergent and then after that, the water that enters your washing machine's drum with your clothes in it is all pre-mixed, right? The idea of that is that there's no traces of detergent that's left on clothes and the same goes for the softener as well. So if you use fabric softener, the Ocomix will also mix your fabric softener prior to releasing it into the drum. The idea of it is that you're going to have an even distribution of chemicals mixing around the drum, which means you should get better results and you should get them in less time. So that's that. The fourth thing I like about the AEG washing machines is the Oco Power program. So the Oco Power program promises to get your clothes done in 59 minutes. In 59 minutes, you can get good results um, from my observation. But it's gonna take a little bit more time if you wanna add things like extra rinse modes or soft plus modes or anything like that. But if you stick to the standard mode, it will be 59 minutes. What I've noticed about the Oco Power mode is that it's using more water because the more water you have in the drum, the quicker it's gonna wash the clothes, basically. So it's a little bit, I think it's probably gonna be less efficient, economically speaking. You'll get it done in less time. The maximum weight limit of the Oco Power program is five kilograms. 
And I've also noticed that the Oppo Power Mode is a little bit louder compared to the standard cotton mode because there's literally more water in the drum and the drum seems to be rotating more often. It's a, more, a bit more of a violent wash. I think it's a good program to have. You know, it's not the most uneconomical wash in the entire world and you get it your clothes done in 59 minutes and it does work so i think it's a good thing number five is the steam refresh mode so yeah a lot of washing machines don't have steam modes uh like i know the lg do but some other washing machines you really have to pay a premium to get that personally i think steam modes can be a bit of a gimmick sometimes but the one useful thing about it i would say is when you want to take the creases out of clothes so if you hate ironing that can be something where you know that you can use every now and again if you use the steam refresh mode you can put it on for like 20 25 minutes and uh, basically just chuck a few shirts in and you should be able to get the creases out in the majority of the time anyway there's a button it's called plus steam you press the button and it adds the steam mode to the end of your wash so you can do that too the sick thing i really like about aeg washing machines is the fact that they seem to be made out of quality parts and I've checked the quality, you know, this is the, the, the quality from what I can observe as a consumer, not an engineer or anything like that. But for example, one thing I noticed about AEG washing machines, the doors, they don't flex at all. Whereas other washing machines, they really flex, the doors they flex, right? That tells me that they've gone the extra mile. They've actually put more quality into the things that other people don't really care about, but some people do. That should mean that you're going to get a longer lasting machine over time. I've even noticed other brands like uh, Bosch and Siemens, they have very low quality doors when I've looked around in the shops. Um, I mean, my AEG washing machine's door is more comparable to something like a Miele, I would say. And Miele's are twice the price. Um, so yeah, you know, that's how good I think um, AEG machines are made, at least visually. I don't know about underneath the hood, I don't know about that. I would I would imagine that Miele have AEG Trump there, but they are worth twice the price. The weight of the machine, 81 kilos. So I think that's pretty, that's a good sign from my experience. I've seen other machines, same size drum, and they weigh like 60 kilos, 70 kilos. This is quite significantly heavier than other machines that I've seen from my research. So that tells me, it's leaning me towards it's probably made out of better stuff. The other thing I really like is the quality of the buttons. Uh, the draw, the feel that you get around the other parts of the machine and the specifically the, the wheel which, which you use to select programs is very smooth in operation. The seventh thing I like about AEG washing machines is every single AEG washing machine I've had in the past, including the one I've got now, they seem to be quite quiet. They're definitely on the quieter end. Um, I've heard one machine that's quieter than this one, maybe. And that's the Samsung, one of the new quick drive models. Um, but it doesn't spin as fast as this one. This is a 1600 spin. One thing I noticed that's uh, unique to AEG is that there's, there's these like rubber pads that you put at the bottom of the machine. They call it a sound barrier, which I think it does work actually. And basically the idea of that is to reduce vibration around the room and sound. Um, so yeah, that's unique. I thought that was pretty good. However, I will say that it makes it a little bit harder for you to move the washing machine into place if you're gonna place it somewhere, uh, which is a bit annoying, but we got it done in the end. The specification of my machine, 47 decibels noise when in the standard washing mode, and when it is in the spinning mode at 1600 spin, 75 decibels. So I think that's quite competitive with the rest of the market and it's definitely on the lower end. I've not witnessed any shaking, any funny shaking on the machine. Um, even when the load seems to be a bit unbalanced, you might get the odd shake every now and again, but it's very quick to, to balance the load, which I think is very good. I've not seen the, the washing machine move. I've seen other washing machines, they might move when they're trying to balance and there's an unbalanced mode. Um, so yeah, very quiet overall.
The eighth thing is, this is something that, not that I've observed, but it's something that I've read. And uh, it's basically, uh, last year I had a witch, witch magazine. Don't ask me how I got it, I think someone bought it for me. It was last December in 2019, and I was looking at, there's like a section about basically rating appliances based on longevity. And I noticed that I thought it was going to be something like Miele that was voted at the top. But actually it was the Zanussi machines and the AEG machines, part of the Electrolux group, that were actually at the top of the of the polls. So uh, that was interesting. They, Like I said, they beat other brands like Miele, Bosch, uh, LG and Samsung were pretty poor on that survey. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I've lost the magazine now. I'm sure it's somewhere in the house, but you know, we've been redecorating so God knows where anything is. But yeah, you could always look it up. It is there, it is true. You know, go and have a look if you want. It's from last year. I believe it was December 2019, if you can be bothered, right? Yeah. Number nine, the other thing I really like about it is that it doesn't seem very gimmicky, right? When I say gimmicky, two things. First of all, features. You might see these new machines, they come out and they're always coming out with new features that they reckon they can wash the clothes in less time or this mode is certain is specific for this, for this thing. I don't really know. Have a look round, you'll see what I mean. There's so many gimmicky features on washing machines these days. You know, I'm not gonna name any brand specifically. I think you probably know if you just have a look around this normal store. You can spot these features a mile off. What I like about AEG is that they seem to stick to the basics, the basic programs that have always been there and they get them done right. So that's what I like about it. And the second thing is the noises that you get. So, you know what really grinds my gears is washing machines these days. They like to play a tune when they finish a cycle. right and um, the displays as well the displays on washing machines they're turning these washing machines into computers and TV screens and it start, it actually annoys me a little bit I don't want a TV inside my washing machine I don't want any smart features I don't want it to connect to the internet I don't want Wi-Fi it's pointless it's not worth paying for you know I'd rather pay I'd rather the money that I use I'd rather put that to the quality of the machine and not all these pointless features you know because what, what do you do? You put the clothes in the machine, you put it onto the right the mode you want to use, you press start, Bob's your uncle. Why do I want to sit there and play around on an app for a washing machine? I've got better things to do. So um, yeah, I don't really like paying for that. The tenth thing is the price. Now AEG is definitely not the cheapest brand by far, but I think AEG is in a section of the market that gets it just right. If you want to buy something that's on the premium end, it's got good features, but you don't want to get ripped off at the same time. I think AEG is a very good brand and they've found that good part of the market. The flagship models are around a thousand pound, 900, thousand pounds, something like that. My one I paid 799 for in a sale and that's a thousand pound usually. And that's a fair price, I think, considering the features. If you were to buy something like a Miele machine, you know, with the same features, you're looking at at least double the price, probably like two, uh, 1,500, 2,000 pounds, I would say, for the nine kilos, for the steam, for all these things, I would say it's gonna be around that sort of mark. LG, I mean, I used to think LG was good until my machine that I had failed within three years. The door fell off, the suspension started going faulty, and the steam on the LG, which they kind of market as being their thing, um, broke within a year. So the steam refresh cycle and all that sort of stuff, that broke. I've considered Samsung's as well. They're in a similar position in the market to AEG. I think that sort of higher end, but not so expensive like Miele, kind of that sort of like in the Bosch sort of region. But I've heard really bad things about Samsung's. You know, I've heard that the new models may, might be a little bit better for longevity, but I heard really bad things about the old models. One thing I've heard is that the metals that Samsung use, apparently that what the drum's made out of, they corrode, they're very subject to corrosion. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a video down below, which links to another video, which where, where you can see the problem with Samsung uh, machines. So yeah, I think price-wise, 
AEG gets it right. They've got good build quality. Like I said, I've, I've looked up the surveys that that Electrolux group tend to do very well in terms of longevity. Good price, good build quality, no gimmicky features. Yeah, I just think they're quality machines. So yeah, that's why I would recommend AEG to you in the year 2021. Have a look, look at all the other brands as well. Don't just take my word on it, but that's what I think. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Any updates, I'll put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Did you like it? If you did, then please give us a like. Subscribe if you wanna see more content. I'll see you next time.